Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today OnePlus is rolling out a new update for OnePlus 5 and 5D users which is in the form of Oxygen OS 5.1.5 and it's a stable version. To update your device you should go to settings, system update and check for the update availability. If it is not available here then download the Oxygen OS updater application and in this if it doesn't show the update tap these three dots, go to settings and here Change the update method from incremental update to full update. Once you select full update, go back to the main home screen and you should have an update available. The update size is 1.6 GB. Just download the update from here. Once the download is completed using Oxygen OS Updater app, then just swipe towards your right hand side. Close installation guide. Go to the settings. System update, tap the setting gear towards the right hand side, local upgrade and choose the package. So I have already updated my device, let me show you the software information going to settings, about phone and here you can see Oxygen OS 5.1.5, Android version is 8.1 and the security patch has been updated to 1st August 2018. So guys these are the change logs what they have mentioned on their official website with respect to 5.1.5 under which first one is android security patch has been updated to 1st august 2018 and after that confirm pin without tapping tick to unlock the phone so that can be found under settings security and lock screen screen lock and if the screen lock type is pin then here you have an option of auto check the pin without tapping the tick mark so let's select this and give the default pin code once this is done lock the device and to unlock just you need to enter the pin you don't have to tap the tick mark device will automatically get unlocked so guys only these two things are mentioned under the change logs but if you have treble check application and if you open that application you can see now the device officially supports project treble which was previously available only on beta firmwares but now on stable firmwares also your device will support project travel and the update size was 1.6 GB that is just because of this complete system change which now supports project travel after that there are no UI changes done here launcher version is still same which is 2.5.1 but here camera version is updated previously it was 2.5.35 but here you can see this is 2.5.36 but sadly still front portrait mode is not added on this camera update now let's take a look at the benchmark results with geekbench application single core scores 1960 multi core scores 6603 slightly higher than the previous update that was 5.1.4 under Enter2 Bench application, the device scores 1,88,575, which is pretty low comparing to the previous update. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.